Seek discomfort means a lot of things. Ah! Sometimes it can be overcoming a fear. Or your life's biggest physical challenge. I've never been so much pain in my life. But it can also mean sharing a difficult story. I had a skateboarding accident in um, 2013. Fell off, hit my head. Um, ended up in a coma for five weeks and yeah, hospital for six and a half months. I was given a 3% chance to live. I had so much support. That's what? That's why I'm here. You see, throughout this year, we've learned that we've got two choices, stagnation or expansion. To stagnate is to be comfortable, secure. But expansion comes with fear, uncertainty, and more than a little doubt. It's the experiences and places that are unfamiliar to us that gives us life. And the beautiful thing about seeking discomfort is that it embodies different things for different people. Seek discomfort to me means talking to that girl in my science class. Chasing my goals, chasing my dreams, no matter what anybody has told me. When you put yourself out there and you're not really too sure what's going to happen. Because you never know what opportunities you'll miss out on. Learning from those experiences to make yourself a better person. Forget about what other people are going to think and judge and just be your true self. It could be something as small as volunteering. For me, that was being able to attend the United States Naval Academy. I ended up meeting a group of strangers that I now consider some of my closest friends. They were just so loving and so trusting. I would hate to look back on my life and be more disappointed on the things that I didn't do than the things that I did do. But in order to make those dreams come true, I had to move across the country. It's super scary, but it's probably been the best two months of my life. That's what seek discomfort means to me. Joseph Campbell said, the cave we fear holds the treasure we seek. It means overcoming fear. Just saying yes. Saying yes. Say yes. Because each adventure starts with a yes. Will you go beyond fear? My answer is yes. <laughs> In short, seek discomfort is living with the belief that life's most profound experiences and deepest connections exist outside of our comfort zone. The question then becomes, are you willing to accept what you're scared of? Are you willing to confront which parts of your comfort zone needs expansion? Are you willing to stare down your self-imposed limitations in pursuit of growth, fulfillment, and adventure? Well, this year, with the help of our audience, our answer was definitely yes. I have a massive fear and anxiety with heights. I always have. It's taken an incredible mental journey to be able to maintain composure. The construct that we've created, our personalities, is so strong. And when you do something of an extreme nature, like to the extent when you're doing an Iron Man, then you get to transcend that. You get to see what, what sits below that surface. You get to see that there's something more than who you pretend to be. People that don't have the foundation of actually knowing whether that's possible still have their sort of perception of what's reality. And then they put that on you without actually knowing what what you know what the potential are of these young people so i wanted to give just an example to show that you're able to do something extraordinary even though you're you know you're all ordinary by you going after your dream you give other people permission to go after theirs we got to revolutionize something in this world and show that we are made of much more than we think and for that we have to dive into the depth yeah and for that you got fear right Woo! now the antidote of self-centered attitude, altruism, and consider just of the human being, one human community. <laughs> How did your outlook on life change after? Um, well, it's just, I take each day as it comes now. Like, I don't, I don't worry about anything. I look, I'd come to the Great Barrier Reef with half an hour's notice. Yeah! You're never gonna get this opportunity again. I'm not one to let opportunities pass up. You can fail with what you do, but you can never fail with who you are. Hey! So I challenge you to think about the things that are holding you back and keeping you stuck. See if you can identify just one thing that you want to change in your life. It could all start with one small step. Keep your dreams close, but the love yourself even closer. This is for every kid out there to dream the wildest they can, to dream the biggest they can. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. You guys are going to freak out. So are we good to go up? Yeah, you guys are good. Oh! <laughs>
Changed my life now, like, ah, oh, I'll be the story. You're gonna make me cry now. Sorry. As everything was happening last year with my father, I there's this sentence that kept popping in my head: "Be who you are and walk freely." And only right now, right now, I get to experience what that means, and I really just want to see everyone in the world just, just getting to experience the power of doing that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need to be in a privileged position to seek discomfort. You don't need to have a huge budget or all the connections money can buy. The truth is, discomfort is often right outside your doorstep. It's deciding to go on your first mile-long run or approaching a stranger at the bus stop. Discomfort can mean being brave in the face of adversity or finding ways to overcome your mental illness. What we're trying to say is discomfort comes in all shapes and sizes. And most importantly, real discomfort is very personal to you. So ask yourself, what are you truly afraid of? What's on the other side of that fear? That is the most important question you can ask yourself. So before you jump in 2020, take the time to think about it and reflect. Once we realize that all of these limitations are just thoughts, perceptions, lies we've been telling ourselves for far too long, then we're able to tackle what's holding us back one step at a time. Here's to a new decade full of discomfort, of growth, and unconditional love. We'll see you next year.